Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time, Zeal Kingdom fell out of the sky, Chrono died, we went through the Ocean Palace, then we got kidnapped and got thrown onto the Blackbird. We escaped from the Blackbird, but not before having it crash into the ocean, but in all that, the Epoch did finally get its wings, so now we can fly around. But if you try to fly around or leave, you can't, because who's ever in the, in the lead of the party will say something about you know, Chrono still around, we need to uh, find him. Even though we saw him die. But apparently, you know, they still think that he's around there somewhere. At this point, the new does have some more equipment, but nothing too great, although there is a new weapon here. The Hurricane that nobody can equip. Kind of strange, kind of unusual. Oh well, let's go over here to the commons. Hey there. Oh, if you didn't speak to that woman back in Zeal Kingdom and tell her to plant it, tell her to plant it now. A suspicious looking person up in the north on the Cape. Really? Oh, and here we have um, Janice's little cat. I'm just going to call it Azrael. <laughs> Okay. Remember all that stuff about sunstones and moonstones and things like that for later. That will come in handy. Hmm. Everybody's talking about this person who's looking for us. Hey there. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. Well, they seem to be doing well enough. I wonder if these enlightened ones are like the ancestors of like the mystics. I don't know. Oh well. Let's go over here to the North Cape. They said that somebody was here, but I don't see anybody, just this sparkle. Let's check that out. <gasps> the Magus! Holy crap! Yeah. No kidding. Oh, did you? You mean it's the Prophet, right? Or no? Well, Magus is gonna tell us everything that happened now. Oh, it's Janus! Whoa! So this must have happened before, quite some time ago, before we ever came here. Melchior gets sucked away. Gasper, the guru of time, gets sucked away. And Balthazar. So that's why the three gurus were in different time periods, and then Janus himself got sucked away to yet another time period. The only people who stayed here were Scala and Queen Zeal. So let's see where everybody went to. Melchior to Medina Village, 1000 AD. He went to the future to build the Epoch. And Gasper, he's the man at the end of time. The one guiding us along so much. Janus, though, looks like he's in 600 AD. Whoa! Where he met Ozzy. You know who else knows Ozzy? Yeah, Janus grew up to be Magus. Wow. So whenever he summoned Lavos to the castle, he actually wanted to exact revenge on Lavos. But instead, he came back to where he was originally from and knew what was going to happen, so he kind of passed himself off as a prophet. No kidding. Uh-oh. Yikes! Oh, man. Whoa! Hold your tongue! Do I wish to fight Magus? Um, let's just say- let's just see what happens if we say, Yes, I do wish to fight you. If Frog is in your party, you are in for a world of hurt! Because he is going to fight Magus alone! Yeah, let's get him, this dusty old era. Finish this charade. 
So the fight against Magus with just Frog is kind of obnoxious. Um, Frog isn't exactly the powerful person. He does have a decent single tech, the Leap Slash. And um, Magus has been heartily weakened by his fight with Lavos. He no longer has a barrier change. He no longer does anything like that. Um, basically, he's going to start off the fight just attacking you normally. Um, and then later on, he's going to go into casting level 2 versions of his spells. He doesn't even cast like Dark Matter. So an easy way to get rid of Magus would be to equip like a rainbow helmet to absorb lightning and then some other sort of mail to absorb a different element. Magus has 6,666 HP. He takes a minute alone with Frog to deal with. Um, if you have Isla and you don't have Frog in your party, so if you bring like Isla, Luca, Marl, whoever, then you can steal with Isla, and you can steal a Mega Elixir from him. Um, which isn't exactly, you know, the most common item ever, so it might behoove you to bring Isla along if you do choose to kill Magus. I don't remember what mail I have on Frog for absorption. It's obviously not the blue mail. <laughs> um, yeah, just go ahead and heal up. And it looks like the Rainbow Helm is making it so that I am taking half damage from Lightning rather than absorbing it, so that kind of sucks. But whatever. So this really is kind of a battle of attrition here, just going back and forth between healing and leap slashing until we get Magus down. I remember the first time playing this game, and whenever I saw Magus, over here on the hill, I was like, I don't know what to do. And I, I I was so freaked out about like making the next choice that I didn't even choose a choice. I reset the game and I actually really, 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 really thought about it. And then I was like, okay, well, I'll just make a save right before going into the North Cape. And then I'll choose, you know, um, one of the various dip, di different options. And I unfortunately had Frog in my party and, um, I had to fight him alone, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous, but it was so epic to me, so, so epic to me, doing this battle. But eventually, I said, no, I don't want to fight, and uh, we'll see that option shortly, if, the, if I could ever get through this freaking fight. Um, how am I, can, can I just slurp myself? Hey, we got him! 3,000 experience points, 50 tech points, Frog learns Cure 2, which would have been really helpful during that fight, but yeah. Frog is now Avenged Cyrus. Oh. Oh. Find Gasper, the Guru of Time. Well, he's at the end of time. And with that, Magus dies. I guess that broke the, fur the curse on Frog, and we get Scala's amulet. Remember, a while back we we saw a scene with Scala and Janice, and she gave um, Janice the amulet. Well, he still has that amulet, and uh, let's see, it is basically essentially the ribbon of the game, protecting you against status ailments. Frog does not turn into Glenn at this point. Um, however, at the end of the game, if you defeated Magus, Frog will turn back into Glen for all of the endings, no matter which ending you get. But no other alternate timelines open up because Magus died. Nothing changes in like 600 AD because you killed Magus. It's honestly the bad path. Let's not take that path. Let's say that we do not want to fight Magus. Yeah. Not gonna do anything, but just get some revenge. Do you have anything else to say? You're just gonna stare across the cliff? What is it? Oh! You'll come with me? Treachery! <laughs> oh, okay. So again, he tells you again, go to Gaspar, the Guru of Time. 
to restore lost streams of time, and now you can name Magus. In the original Japanese version, this was the first time that you got to name Magus. He didn't really have a name. He just went by, like, Dark Lord or Evil One. Um, so, yeah, Magus now joins your party, and he is ridiculous. Look at his attack power, uh, his defense power, everything compared to my other mages in the game. He is just so good. He's also just a fantastic party leader. He is Shadow Elemental. Prior to this, the only shadow-based damage that we really had was Robo with his laser spin. Um, it was a noticeable hole of offensive damage in our party, but now we really truly do have a dedicated shadow caster. So let's look at his shadow magics. Oh, lovely. He doesn't really even have shadow magic. That's just fantastic. <laughs> But he does have lightning magic, ice magic, fire magic. He is able to hit all four damages. Um, he is fantastic. And with his magic power being so high, he's actually your best lightning uh, magical attacker, as well as your best ice magical attacker, too, because uh, damage output from ice throughout through Marl and uh, Frog is decidedly lacking. Um, he is able to equip scythes. So we saw that hurricane scythe that the new was uh, holding. So now, yeah, he has that. Uh, we can go ahead and give him that. And as far as, you know, various other armors, whatever. And he comes equipped with the amulet. So again, there is no benefit for killing Magus because you get the amulet anyway for Magus joining your party. He's going to be in my party for quite a bit of time because we haven't seen him this whole time. And also because he has so many techs to learn. Whereas everybody else is, you know, almost done with their techs. Um, he has barely even started. So, whenever he runs around, he like flies. He floats and hovers off the ground. It's so freaking cool. I love Magus. He is just amazing. Let's go into the comments. And, uh, yeah! Little Azriel here, she uh, she recognizes Magus slash Janus, and she'll just go over here and she'll meow at us, and she'll even follow us around. Like, what a cool touch! It kind of is my cat. He recognizes me. I think that it's just the sweetest, sweetest little thing. I love that attention to detail right there. Let's get in the epoch. What's what? Oh no, God, don't say it. What is it? What's happening? What in the world? is that oh god it's like a floating palace or fortress or something and it's calling us I'm gonna get sucked in there so yeah the ocean palace has now risen to the surface and uh we got a palace another place to explore but before we go in there um, let's, uh, hit the right button. Before we go in there, let's make a save. Now we're under the Time Egg. This cave, by the way, is the cave where the little dimensional warp is. It'll take you to the end of time if you want to, but I don't want to do that right now. I want to go inside the Black Omen. Oh, I guess we're not wanted with laser guards. Uh, we can get rid of these laser guards easily enough. Uh, one casting of Lightning 2 will just destroy them. You're going to get to see the power of Magus here. Whereas your other party members, level 2 spells will deal like, you know, 800-ish damage. This one deals with roughly 1,200 damage coming from Magus, hitting whatever weakness you want. So good. Luke learned Mega Bomb, And we got a dual tech Antipode 2. Very, very nice. 
So uh, now Luke is learning Flare, the strongest fire magical based attack. Very nice. Dual tech antipode 2 attacking all enemies um, for fire and ice based damage. And I think it just devolves kind of into shadow based damage, um, to be quite honest with you, whenever you use it with antipode. Okay, so let's head on inside. See what else we got going towards us. Oh, it's Queen Zeal. Oh, God. Oh, um, she's right about that. Yeah, that'll be the apocalypse whenever Lavos uh, reigns terror on the world. So the Black Omen is a path which leads to Lavos. And it's a shrine that provides them with unlimited power. And uh, she's not joking. There is now yet another way to reach Lavos. You can go all throughout the entirety of the Black Omen to reach Lavos. That's the third way. There's also the bucket to get to Lavos. And then there's going to the Apocalypse with the Epoch. And we'll see that momentarily. But first, we have boss time against the Mega Mutant himself. The Black Omen is very, very difficult to get through, um, and honestly, you are not supposed to go through it right now. It appears, and you could go through it right now, but you're just not really supposed to. And the Mega Mutant's attacks pretty much just consist of status-based attacks. That's why it's nice to bring in Magus, because he comes equipped with the amulet. Luca and Marl have been confused. The Mega Mutant's gonna try to put us to sleep. Oh, look at this. Looks like uh, she woke up. We can do a Mega Bomb on him. Um, he's gonna try to inflict sap on us, do all sorts of just really horrible, horrible, horrible things to us that at this moment, there's really nothing that we can do about it. Something, to, oh, there goes, there goes uh, Magus. Something to note. After that last battle that we just fought, Luca and Marl learned a dual tech together, but Magus didn't learn any dual techs whatsoever. That's the one downside of Magus. Whereas he has really powerful attacks, um, hitting all four different elements, he doesn't learn any dual techs. He does not play well with others. Um, Magus is a villain to the very end, and the other party members kind of grudgingly go along with him. They don't really want to go along with him. And yeah, if you try to fight this Mega Mutant right now, tough luck. You're getting the game over, so let's not do that. Instead, let's get out of here! Run for your lives! Check this, and we can return to the epic. So, there we go. Yeah, um, I just wanted to show you what the Black Omen was all about, and I'm going to show you something else. Let's say that we go to the Middle Ages. The Black Omen is still there. The Black Omen appears in every time period, all the way up into the future. But if you talk to the people around here, they're not going to mention the Black Omen, because it's always been there. Whenever these people are now born, They've always seen the Black Omen in the sky. It's just always been there since the year 1200. But let's look at something else. Um, now that the Epic has wings, last time we warped to the Apocalypse, the, the Epoch did not have wings, but now we do have wings. So what do you want to do? We can run away, go back to the time warping screen, or we can fight. Yeah, burst through Lavos with the Epic. No kidding. This is going to scrap the epic and completely destroy it, but you're going to go bursting right through Lavos's shell. You're going to be just sailing that epoch straight into him. It'll destroy the time machine in the process, but this is actually the fastest and I think probably the best way to fight Lavos. The reason for this. Remember whenever we were at the end of time the first time, and um, and we fought Lavos, we went through the bucket and we fought Lavos, and we had to, um, 
we had to like fight different iterations of various bosses and I got I think it got like as far as about Zombor before I just got annihilated. By fighting Lavos this way, you skip that entire thing of having to, you know, rehash all those boss fights. And instead, you wind up inside Lavos, inside his body, inside his core. So we can go straight to the real thing. Oh, but the epoch is destroyed and there is no turning back. You cannot escape. You are now down for a one-on-one -on -one against Lavos. And at this point, you could probably kill Lavos if you really, really, really tried. But I don't want to do that because there's a lot of side quests that we can take care of now. And don't forget, we've got to find Chrono. And we're going to be doing that next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.